Here's a GeoGebra app to help explain the connection between angle measure and radian measure. These two lengths, this red length of this segment and this arc length D around this unit circle are always the same. If I grab this and move it, then it increases the length of this segment and this arc length is exactly the same length as this. So when this arc length is at 2, I mean when this segment length is at 2, then this arc length is also 2 and the angle measure is a, a little over 114.5.6 degrees. Well, radian measure is the measure of the angle by radii. Okay, so you're looking at how many radiuses this wraps around. So when it wraps around two radiuses around the arc, then you've got 114 degrees. If you come down here to one, so that this length right here is the same as one radius, then uh, you're around 57.4 degrees. If we tried to slide down here to get uh, close to 30 degrees, somewhere around there, then we're, oops, then we're uh, a little more than a, than a half of a radian. If we come up here and make this uh, 45 degrees, then, uh, then this is about 0.79, almost 0.8 radians slide up to uh, 60 degrees, okay, and so on. Come around here if you go, in, uh, okay, so that's the idea. The important thing to understand about radian measure is it's just how many radiuses are in that arc uh, that measures the angle.